Hello Reed in Sanford, North Carolina. Matthew here with FreePrescriptionLenses.com and tonight Reed is taking advantage of my 100 pair special. You buy 99 pairs of glasses from me and the 100th one pair is free. So he's going to get a free pair of lenses tonight for his Oakley. These are called the Mismatch. These are the factory rejects. They couldn't find a pair of temples that would match so they just stuck them on there. <laughs> And he bought them on Etsy or somewhere like that. And I, I'm just kidding. I think he has the matching pairs in here. Yeah, see, there they are. He just chose to put them on there. It's, it's mix match day. So, in honor of Reed, I'm just going to take one off. Oh, did I just break it? Does it even come off? How does it see? That's what happens when you're not Oakley rep. There we go. That's it. Is that it? How's it go? I've really screwed up now. I've really screwed up. Now, see don't know what I'm doing there we go whoo that was close that was close I'm gonna quit messing with stuff now I'm gonna quit messing with it and cut his lenses so I'm gonna pop out his original demo lenses that he used to be able to see out these were prescription lenses that I made for him but no he had to go and get contacts not need prescription lenses anymore so I'm cutting some polarized red mirrored lenses and the best way to tell whether they are mirrored is you can hold them up to the light. Hopefully you can see that, that light that's in the background when you pass in front of each other, you can see through them. If you hear the term polar opposites, if you turn one of them 90 degrees, it will go pitch black and it blocks all light. The other way to tell whether these are polarized or not is to hit them with a hammer and if they make a polarized sound, if they are polarized, if they don't make a polarized sound, I'll make you a new pair of lenses. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and begin. So, where's the sticker? read from now on you will be secret agent 5068 i'm barcoding this because something tells me he's going to want another color of lenses to pop in and out and i can i won't need his frame anymore now that he is secret agent 5068 i'm going to trace his frame this little stylus is going to pop up and it's going to go around and trace the shape of the lens first doing the right side and then doing the left here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. As I said, you buy 99 pairs of prescription glasses from me and the 100th pair is free. <laughs> Actually, I'm, charged, I'm kidding. I'm charging him extra for this because he was waiting for me to get some new lab equipment. The new lab equipment came in. It's a very nice yellow thumbtack. I had this mail ordered. It was flown in from Europe. You can't just get yellow ones like that here in America. So that's what we were waiting on before I could cut his lenses. So that is the shape of the lens. I am going to go ahead and put the lens onto the platform. Look, ooh, it's getting dark. It's getting dark. What's it like on this side? Still just as dark. Oh, you know why? Because of the mirror coating, there is an optical camera. Can you see up inside there? No, no, you can't, but pretend that you can. Actually, you can see the reflection of the camera in the lens. You see that little dark spot? And it's the opposite of Mars. You have a little red spot on Mars. On this red lens, you got the black spot. So that's what mirrors do. So this is a block, as I like to call them, Jenny from the block. Although in Reed's case, this is Samantha from around the way. <laughs> and, uh, let me get two adhesive stickers. Look, these are brand new too. See, I am using new lab equipment. I'm using two new stickers on you. The black side is the sticky side. Although I do have a magnetic personality, but no, they wouldn't be sticking to me if not. Put one on the first block, put one on the first block again. Wait, I didn't know there was going to be so much math involved. Wait, two, two. Do I have two here? Oh, I didn't know I was going to be tested. Where's my calculator? I'll figure this out. Okay, this one, pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Now this little silver button on the back is a magnet. It's going to do its job once tonight. No, twice, twice. First time is it's going to hold it in place into the magnet right there. I'm going to line that up. I'm going to, actually, I don't have to line anything up. These are non prescription. Hit the button. The arm's going to come down and place the block onto either the right or the left lens. It really doesn't matter since these are non prescription. The only thing that does matter is I put them in the same orientation. I can't turn it this way or he's going to see funny, which, hey, be a good practical joke with him. I've actually been out to dinner with he and his wife. His wife thinks I look like Jeremy Pivens. Other people said I sound like, uh, who is that? Oh, Kevin Spacey. Um, wrong on both accounts. I look like Abe Vigoda. And I sound like Harvey Firestein. Is that his name? I can't remember. Anyway, okay, so the left one's lined up. Hit the button. The arm comes down, places the block onto that lens. It's like magic. Do you believe in magic? Okay, look at this one I just cut with two little drill holes in here. It's a Mew Mew frame. That one was a little challenging. So let's wake up the computer. 
Secret Agent 5068. That is the shape of the lens we are cutting. And these are polycarbonate lenses. Put that into the chuck. Now again, this is the magnet's going to do its job. It's 17th time tonight. No, second. Second. I told you I didn't know there was going to be so much math involved. It's going to hold it in place into the chuck. And I'm getting ahead of myself. This is the edger. This is Reed's cloth. This is Reed's cloth after I blow my nose in it. <laughs> okay, now let's put that back. Um, where's my flashlight? Here it is. This is the edger. Here's my stylus. This is the cutting wheel that's going to go round and round and round and round. And it's going to cut his lens out and it's going to act like a heavy grit sandpaper. This lens in the middle is going to put the bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. This wheel here, this, this wheel ain't going to do diddly. It's along for the ride. It ain't doing nothing tonight. Just like Reed. Reed ain't doing nothing. He's sitting around watching these videos. Alright, so now again, I'm putting it in for the 24th time. Place it into there, or the second. One of the two. It's either the second or the 24th time that magnet's doing his job. I've woken it up. Let's hit start. The door closes. The clamp shuts. With a mighty groan. Sorry about that. I shouldn't have eaten those bean burritos before cutting these lenses. So it's going around making sure the lens is large enough. Tracing the shape of the lens. The old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once is measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly where to place the bevel for the best cosmetic fit possible. Now Reed, why don't you come off some money and get some Oliver Peoples? This is the one I'm cutting next time. This guy works in the field. He's down in Alabama, but he works in the field and he's getting the Ollie. Black front with the tortoise sides. Of course, pay attention. You'll see it in the video right after yours. Although, you know what? I may upload his first. Who knows what kind of mood I'll be in when I get home. And again, if you want to take advantage of a special, buy 99 pair and get the 100 free. We've got more Oliver Peoples. I mean, these are your old lenses. I'm going to set them down there for now. I have got more Oliver Peoples frames. Buy 99 pairs of these. The 100 is free. Got many to choose from. That looks like the Ollie, but this is the Ashton. That's the same color. Got some semi-rimless. Looks like the old Ray-Ban Clubmasters. That's a more rectangular version. Hey, wouldn't your son like a pair of these? They're only $378. I don't see why you can't get two of them. Check out the Riley with the old school little flip-up clips on there. How about that? Now, is that not the bomb? Um, okay, that's those. Let's see the next tray. The next tray. Let's move these out of the way. Many Oliver Peoples. Many, many. Got some of the old school round. Of course, I did a round drill mount for him that his wife hates, but his wife hates a lot of things. Hey, speaking of your wife, look, she knows I wear the same shoes in every video, but no, for your red mirror, I'm going with my colorful shoes there. So point that out to her. Got to keep her guessing. Now she can't ex know what to expect every time in every video. His wife, Sunshine, I think that's his pet name for her. Okay, let's see. Next tray, although these are pretty cool. His son wants to get the polished aluminum club masters for around 175. These, what a bargain at 378. That's the polished aluminum too. <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on. Going through more trays. We're going through more trays. We got the polished brown in that same frame. Any other plastics you see here that you like? Any of these, any of these? Speak now or forever hold on to your money. Your wife's gonna want a pair of these. Now, James Bond did wear some Oliver People sunglasses in, what was the first movie he did? What was the first movie? Oh, I can't remember. Casino Royale. He wore something like these in the Casino Royale. Now, Reed went out and got a pair of Tom Fords, which I don't sell. He didn't buy them for me, so I'll cut him some slack. But that's what James Bond wore in the most recent film, not Skyfall, but oh, what was the name of this one? Now I can't even remember that one either. So, more old school rimless frames from Oliver Peoples, the larger size, like the first Clubmaster one. Okay, I think that one's done. Let's see. Let's see. Open up the chuck, take the lens out. And just for you, Reed, I'm going to use a new paper towel. <laughs> the cat got sick and I cleaned it up, so I'm going to have to use a new one on you. All right, where's your frame? Here it is. Here it is. I thought it had a gray temple on this side and an orange one on this side. Are you sure this is the same frame? Or are you sure? Okay. Let's tuck the lens in at the outside corner. Push down the nose. It snaps right in. Let's cut the non-right lens. We're going to flip that over to L, which stands for unright. Put the lens into the chuck. Hit the button. 
the door closes, the clamp shuts. The lens is going to be traced by the two styluses. My two nicest styluses. They went to Paul Mitchell Hair School to learn how to be styluses. <laughs> hey, it doesn't matter if you're laughing at this. I'm laughing. That's the most important thing. As long as the clown gets to laugh while he's at work, you know, that's a good day. Oop. Turn off the light. I don't have to charge someone for the battery when it goes dead. Pop goes your lens. And I'm going to leave that sticker on there since that's a new sticker and I want to prove that's new equipment. When you open up your package, that will be on your lens. That's right, your lenses are free, but I don't charge to clean them. I mean, I do charge. So you didn't pay extra for that. you got to clean your own lenses. Check one thing. These are the Crosslink. The Oakley Crosslink model number 8027 in the polished black. <laughs> in the polished kielbasa. No, I actually went out, uh, took a day trip down to see Reed. We met in a neighboring town, he and his wife, me and my wife. We got some Mexican. Should have drunk some margaritas, but we didn't. Got to look back on that and figure out why I didn't. Oh yeah, I was paying. That's why. Okay, next time that Reed is paying, I will drink some margaritas. All right, so your lens is completely flat, just like a nickel. If I were to take it out now, it would stand up on the counter on its own. Now it's getting the bevel applied on there, the knife-like bevel. Your lens is going to be so sharp, you'll be able to cut through a piece of wet tissue, providing that you soak the tissue in a bucket of water overnight and using all your strength, using more than all your strength, get your youngest child to use this lens to cut through and you might make it through that piece of tissue. Actually, isn't it about time for your insurance to kick in on your youngest son to get a pair of glasses from me? Just checking, just checking. I haven't forgotten. Out comes the wheel with the little spinning wheel on the end of it. The lever with the spinning wheel to apply the safety bevel to the concave side of your lens. So, Reed, be sure to comment in the comment section what you think of my new lab equipment. Ignore all of these. Ignore all of them. They mean nothing. This is the one that my whole kingdom depended on. <laughs> almost dropped it. <laughs> I'm putting this back. Hey, I'm going to make a new hole for it. Right there. Those are terrible. Yeah, there's the new hole for that one. So, that's the new parking space. Dry your lens off. Pop the lens in it. Now, see, when you get lenses in the future, of course, you've gotten so many from me and you pop them in and them out of other frames. But as you know, tuck it in the outside corner using your thumbs, push down at the nose, it snaps right in. To get the lens out, you turn it around and then you whack it with something. And if something scratches the lens, just buy another pair from me. <laughs> you can quote me all that. All right, this is what your lenses look like. You got a little optical sawdust on there. Oh, that's the wife. That's the wife. She just texted me. She went out and bought a new car today, so we'll have to see when I get home. But I'm going to leave these on there. Your new pieces from the lab. So you can enjoy that and you get spy vision when you look through the center. So that is it. If anyone has any questions like, why was I so damn stupid tonight? Please email Reed and he will answer your question. Reed at thatguy.com but anyone else has any questions, you can email me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com. If you want a pair of prescription lenses made seriously for your Oakleys, I can do that, but, it, but only on short notice. <laughs> if, I, if I have a lot of time to think about it, I won't be serious. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching as I made your red mirrored polarized lenses for your own Oakley 8027 Crosslink in the polished black. And everyone else hopefully got the chance to see how I got silly and bring that loving feeling back to glasses. Thank you.